This Ag Update brought to you by American Implement. Indebted to the past, committed to the future. In a moment, an Ag News Update. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation has been around a long time, and a lot of folks have trusted them to design, build, and service all sizes of commercial and on-farm storage for grain and equipment. Wolfter is also known for their outstanding irrigation division where they stock a complete selection of nozzles, regulators, drops, gear drives, electrical, and structure components. Looking for an electric motor? Wolfter has a large selection in single and three phase. Next time, reach out to the pros who have decades of experience at taking care of business the right way. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation. Day and night, till the job is done, Teeter is the one that works for you. Fields of green, reaching toward the sun, Teeter is the one that works for you. Teeter is the one, Teeter is the one that works for you. Teeter Irrigation, your source for water management. Conestoga Energy is committed to investing in technology in their communities through Inogen Corn, the exclusive hybrid corn specifically bred for use in the production of ethanol fuel. The Inogen Corn reduces energy usage in the plant, pays a 40% premium back to the farmer, and keeps $3 million in the United States rather than going to foreign countries. It's good for American farmers, businesses, and consumers. Conestoga Energy, fueling the new frontier. Well, a big announcement this week was made by Ag Secretary Sonny Perdue on the several actions going to be taken to assist farmers in response to the trade damage from tariff retaliation. President Trump has directed Secretary Perdue to craft a short-term relief strategy to protect agriculture producers while the administration works on free, fair, and reciprocal trade deals to open more markets in the long run to help American farmers compete globally. Specifically, USDA will authorize up to $12 billion in programs, which is in line with the estimated $11 billion impact of the retaliatory tariffs on U.S. ag goods. One of the new programs will be called the Market Facilitation Program. It's authorized under the Commodity Credit Corporation Charter Act and be administered by the Farm Service Agency. It will provide payments incrementally to producers of soybeans, sorghum, corn, wheat, cotton, dairy, and hogs. This support will help farmers manage disrupted markets, deal with surplus commodities, and expand and develop new markets at home and abroad. Sign-up will begin in the coming days and will be open for several more weeks. Senate Ag Committee Chair Pat Roberts has said that trade remains the single best solution to a tough economy in farm country. He's going to look closely at the president's assistance proposal, but he hopes that the administration is also working to quickly resolve the tariff situation and restore the export markets that farmers, ranchers, and growers very much rely on. When you've had a best friend for over 50 years, you develop a trust. And the Scott Co-op has been a trusted rural friend since 1957. A co-op keeps money in the area, doing business for and with their members. And that helps keep their hometown thriving with keeping money in the community. Scott Co-op is not just an elevator. It's the rural way of doing business. So when you see an elevator, remember your friends at Scott Co-op. The cost of everything has gone up dramatically over the last 75 years. With one exception, keeping electricity affordable. Wheatland Electric, delivering energy for life, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. The latest Federal Reserve's Ag Finance Data Book says lending activity in the agriculture sector increased slightly in the second quarter of 2018. The overall number of non-real estate farm loans roughly 2% higher than at the same time in 2017. The slight increase supported primarily by larger loans for livestock. In the short term, the Kansas City Fed says higher livestock prices are likely responsible for the increased size of livestock loans, at least in the short term. But looking long term, the size of livestock loans has been trending higher 
That suggests that farm consolidation has contributed to fewer and larger farms with larger lending needs. Increased lending for farming operation comes as the overall risk in the ag sector is increasing. Adjusted for inflation, livestock loans reach a historic high point in the second quarter, while the volume of farm machinery and equipment uh, loans shrank to its lowest second quarter level in some three years. Expectations of large supplies and trade disputes have contributed to sharp declines in most of the major commodity prices through the month of June. That is an Ag News Update. From 1030 KBUF, I'm Ken Rogers. Experience matters. That's why Conestoga Logistics prides itself in having over 40 years of transportation knowledge and skill to serve you and your customers. With a fleet of certified drivers and late model equipment, exceeding their customers' expectations is an everyday goal. Fast, courteous, and professional service with an outstanding safety record. That's what you get when you contact Conestoga Logistics at ConestogaEnergy.com. S&S Trailer Sales with two locations in Ness City, Kansas is where everybody goes to buy or rent trailers. They feature the all-new, all-aluminum Mauer Grain Trailer with all of the electric options, the easy-to-load detached trailers, and a huge stock of header trailers. At the west location, you'll find bumper poles, goosenecks, and oilfield specialty trailers, along with flat and utility beds for pickups. S&S Trailer Sales in Ness City and on the web. But remember, you do have to spell out the end. Would you like to see something done about high gas prices and low unemployment? Western Place Energy in Campus, Kansas is doing something about it. They're a proud part of Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters, and they employ 38 people and will be adding more following the expansion. Ethanol fuel not only reduces the cost of regular gasoline, it's good for the environment and keeps money right here in the United States while supporting local rural jobs. Western Plains Energy, doing something for the future.